Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. The Diagnostic Trouble Code DTC P1890 refers to an issue within the continuously variable transmission CVT speed control system in the Honda Fit, specifically manufactured between 2015 and 2020. This code indicates that there may be a malfunction affecting the transmission's ability to regulate vehicle speed correctly. The CVT speed control system plays a critical role in maintaining optimal engine performance, transferring power efficiently, and ensuring smooth vehicle acceleration. When this system encounters a fault, it could negatively impact driving performance and, if not addressed, lead to more severe transmission issues. Therefore, proper diagnosis and timely repair of this code are essential for the vehicle's reliability and safety. Before proceeding with repairs, it's crucial to follow the manufacturer's guidelines and troubleshooting protocols to accurately identify the root cause of the issue. The P1890 error code signifies a malfunction in the CVT speed control system. This system is responsible for dynamically adjusting the gear ratio and managing the vehicle's speed by regulating transmission fluid flow and pressure. The speed control mechanism is integral to the overall functioning of the CVT, which is designed to provide a seamless driving experience across various speeds. The components directly involved are typically situated within or closely adjacent to the transmission housing, where all gear changes and speed adjustments occur. If there's an issue, either electrical or mechanical, it can hinder the system's capability to relay accurate data regarding wheel and engine speed to the vehicle's computer system. Understanding the specifics of these components is key in effectively diagnosing and overcoming transmission-related issues signified by error code P1890. For the P1890 error code, several underlying causes could contribute to the malfunction. A common reason is a faulty CVT transmission, which may have internal damage or defective components that prevent it from performing correctly. Additionally, electrical connection issues can arise, such as corroded, damaged, or loose connectors that disrupt the transmission of speed data to the vehicle's onboard computer. Faulty speed sensors are another possible cause. If these sensors misread the vehicle's actual speed, it could trigger the P1890 code. Each of these factors presents unique challenges. Hence, thorough examination and diagnosis of the CVT system and its components is essential for resolving the error efficiently. Proper identification of these issues will also assist in minimizing further damage and repair costs. Symptoms associated with the P1890 code may manifest as erratic vehicle speed or issues with acceleration. Drivers may notice that the vehicle fails to respond appropriately when pressing the gas pedal, which could indicate a delay in power transfer from the engine to the wheels. Another significant symptom is the illumination of the check engine light, which serves as a warning for the driver that there is a system fault requiring attention. Additionally, abnormal engine behavior during driving or noticeable hesitation when transitioning between speeds can signal a problem within the CVT speed control system. Recognizing these symptoms early on can significantly affect the troubleshooting process, enabling quicker and more effective repairs, restoring vehicle performance, and ensuring safe operation. In the first troubleshooting step for error code P1890, it's essential to start by turning the vehicle's ignition to the on mode without starting the engine. Once in this position, the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, must be used to check whether there are any pending or confirmed DTCs apart from P1890. The HDS is a specialized tool designed to read various fault codes from the vehicle's onboard computer providing information on any existing issues. By identifying other codes, you can determine if multiple systems are affected, which may complicate repairs. If additional DTCs are present, 
they should be addressed first through their respective diagnostic protocols. Only when a clear understanding of the fault codes is established can you accurately proceed to troubleshoot P1890. In the second troubleshooting step, you'll begin by again turning the vehicle key to the on position. The next crucial action is to clear the existing DTC using the HDS tool. This action resets the vehicle's computer and allows for the fresh detection of any current faults. After clearing the DTC, it's vital to start the engine and warm it up until the radiator fan activates twice, indicating that the vehicle has reached its normal operating temperature. This heating period ensures that all internal systems and sensors are functioning in their optimal conditions. The subsequent test drive should be conducted in D position, gradually accelerating until reaching a steady speed of 37 miles per hour, 60 kilometers per hour, for at least 60 seconds. This process allows the HDS to monitor the onboard diagnostics OBD status and determine whether the P1890 DTC has returned, assisting in verifying the presence of the fault. During the third troubleshooting step, the OBD status must be closely monitored via the HDS tool after the test drive phase. If the HDS indicates that the P1890 has mysteriously returned as a failed code, it confirms that a duplication of the initial fault condition has occurred, requiring further attention to the transmission system. At this juncture, the recommended solution involves replacing the transmission, as continuing to drive with a faulty unit could lead to additional complications. However, if the HDS indicates a past status or flags the code as intermittent, this suggests that there may not be an immediate issue at that time. In such cases, if there are any freeze data or onboard snapshots recorded, it is worthwhile to attempt to reproduce the failure under the same conditions noted in the data for a precise diagnosis. After completing the necessary repairs or component replacements for the P1890 DTC, it is crucial to conduct a final repair verification process. This involves confirming that all repairs have been executed correctly and that the transmission is now operating as designed. Once repairs are completed, the HDS should again be utilized to ensure that no additional diagnostic trouble codes, DTCs, are present in the system. Any lingering codes could suggest that the issue has not been fully resolved. It's also advisable to take the vehicle for a brief test drive to confirm improved performance and functionality of the transmission system. Ensuring the vehicle operates smoothly without any warning lights will give confidence that the repair was successful. While preventive maintenance specifics weren't provided, general best practices for maintaining the CVT speed control system are essential for preventing the recurrence of issues like DTC P1890. Regular fluid changes contribute significantly to the longevity and efficiency of the transmission, reducing the risk of slippage or overheating. It's also advisable to inspect electrical connections and components routinely, ensuring that all sensors and wiring related to speed control are secure, free from corrosion, and in good working order. By catching issues early, before they escalate, vehicle owners can avoid costly repairs and ensure a more reliable driving experience over time. Following manufacturer guidelines for maintenance can enhance the vehicle's overall performance and preserve the integrity of the CVT system. In conclusion, the DTC P1890 indicates a significant issue within the CVT speed control system of the Honda Fit models from 2015 to 2020. Proper troubleshooting steps can effectively identify the root cause, whether it involves electrical connections, faulty components, or the transmission itself. Timely diagnosis and repairs are critical in sustaining vehicle performance and ensuring driver safety. Additionally, scheduled preventive maintenance can help in mitigating the chances of reoccurrence, safeguarding against costly repairs in the future. Drivers should remain vigilant for symptoms associated with this trouble code, 
and always consult with qualified technicians to facilitate efficient repairs and maintain optimal vehicle function. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.